ligue. Hey, welcome to another episode of Live Big. I'm Patrick Sweeney. I'm PJ Sweeney. And we're in the historic town of Breckenridge, Colorado. Breckenridge is one of the best spots in the United States to live big. It's a great spot for a family vacation. And it's great, especially if you want to challenge your kids. And that's what I want to talk about today. So we're going to go mountain biking up on what's called the Peaks Trail. Just to give you some indication of how bad things have gotten in the U.S., when we rented the bike for PJ, the guy said, well, it's a mile and a half climb up the road. You know, I wouldn't recommend it for a kid. You might want to drive up there. And I'm thinking, yeah, we want to drive up there, maybe throw a 12-pack of uh, beer and some donuts in the back so he doesn't get hungry. So we're going to ride up that road, the full mile and a half, and then we're going to do about 10 miles down to Frisco. And along the way, we're going to see some amazing stuff on the Peak Trail. It's great single track. There are some really cool bridges. There are some old bridges. There are some big open fields. There are some burnout areas where there are forest fires. And there's great wildlife. There's great wild flowers. It's really an epic location, and it's a great place to teach a young guy like PJ how to live big and really enjoy everything that's around here. It's going to be a challenge for him, for sure. But that's what it's all about. He needs to be able to push the edge of his capabilities to find out what he can really do. That's what living big's all about. This trail is really cool because before we get down to Frisco, we're going to cross the Continental Divide Trail. We're going to cross and, and actually ride on part of the Colorado Trail, which goes from one end of the top of Colorado to the bottom. We're going to go on what's called the Wheeler Trail, the Minor Trail. So this Peaks Trail that goes from Breckenridge down to Frisco really has a ton of interesting opportunities and things that are really cool about it. So let's hop on the bikes, get out there, and have a look. You going to be all right? Do I need to carry you or anything like that? Do you want some training wheels on that bike? You might get hurt. Breck, maybe five years ago. I couldn't ride this trail as good as you're riding it. Rumors spread around in that Texas town. About to check outside the game. You know what I'm talking about. Just let me know if you wanna go to that whole mile on the range. They got a lot of nice girls. I'm racing. Okay. Hi, Mom. That's a good start. Yeah, that's a great start. <laughs> well, that was awesome. PJ and I had a blast on the Peaks Trail. That's really living big here in Breckenridge, Colorado. One of the things that I think we find is that people are really trying to carve the smoothest path possible for their kids. I'm out here to push PJ to help him learn some great things and have some really cool experiences. What did you think of the trail? Some of it was hard. Yeah. Like the uphill at the start. Downhill was fun. And, and what about some of those things you had to go over, some of those really cool features? Yeah, they were like teepees. Those were fun. Yeah, those were fun. And then there were these light bridges like this wide that we had to go over. Yeah. That was fun too. That was, uh, yeah, the, the bridges and the features. So it's amazing single track. There's some good climbs. There's a lot of downhill. Um, it was just, just a perfect thing to challenge a kid like PJ or challenge anyone who's, who's uh, an intermediate mountain biker. But one of the things that we do in the United States is we try and make everything as smooth and as easy as possible for kids. And in fact, the guy who rented us the bike didn't even want PJ to be going up there and doing that trail. That's crazy. 
easy, right? He's got to get out there. He's got to learn where his limits are. He's got to learn some risk assessment. These are the great educational things that I, I call this an adventure education. And this is, I think, what's really missing in our society today. I think we're so focused on trying to pave the smoothest path possible for kids. I, I call them bulldozer parents who do that. And when, when you had a blast, didn't you? Yeah. Getting out here, you had, you had a lot of fun. We had a great time together, great memory. We really enjoyed ourselves going all the way from Breck down to Frisco, through the single tracks. It was really just a super fun and a great way to live big. Breckenridge is an awesome place to live big. You can challenge your kids to strong outdoor adventures. You can really help them find their limits and create an adventure education. You can spend time learning about mines, touring art galleries, going fishing. There's so much fun stuff to do in Breck that it's an awesome place. So. I highly encourage you guys to come to Breck, bring your family. This is a, it's a great place to have a family vacation and to really live big. If you like this episode, go ahead and hit subscribe. There'll be a new one in your inbox every week. I'm Patrick Sweeney. I'm PJ Sweeney. Until next time, live big. Oh, you did two hands. Yeah, and you did one hand. <laughs> Gold is awesome! <laughs>